So I came to see this Tartan 30, which was super cute. I loved the turquoise line and sails and sail covers. I loved the fabrics and the details. It was well maintained. But for me and my boy, it was just going to be too small. Um, so I decided to keep on going to see the Hunter Legend 37, which was next on my list. And I got lost in the music driving and ended up going an hour too far. I just drove an hour of my way. I'm seeing this boat Friday, not today. This is the Hunter Legend 37. Uh-oh, this dock is jacked. Welcome to Florida. There she is right there. Oops, there she is. Let's check it out. Legend. I have been wanting this boat because of the interior layout. Companionway, no Dodger. Wow, this um, opening is just fabulous, actually. Fabulous. The kitchen galley, nice and wide. It's good. I'm getting a little sink in here. Oh, the engine looks pretty nice, I have to say. So it smells like freshly baked donuts around here. Um, this boat, I love the layout. Um, I think the battery's dead because I tried to start some things and that wasn't working, but um, it's a really nice layout, although I, it has a little water in the bathroom and I think it's been closed up here for a while and it has mildew. So, I mean, I know that's a big thing on boats, like obviously it's in the water and you're going to get some mildew, but... I guess it's clean, but for, for 40K, I don't know, it's 40,000. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. There's always another boat. So, the search continues. This was a 3700 legend, and I do love the layout. Except, I have to say, in the main, in the um, aft cabin with the queen bed, like, the top comes down you know, because it's the cockpit, comes down so low, like you still have to crawl into bed. It's a queen, but you still have to crawl in there. So there's that. So Friday came and it was back to the marina in Tarpon Springs to look at a Hunter 40. I was excited to see this one, although I thought, why well, get a 40 when I can get a 37? because their layouts are almost exactly the same. Is our new 
home. Ah, uh, the, the key here. Toilet paper. There's the shower. This should be exciting. Nav station. All kinds of storage in here, which is an absolute unorganized mess. Sexton. Forward cabin. Look at that hatch. This is a nice big baby. This will be Piercy's spot. And that right there is the anchor locker. That thing has 200 feet of chain in it. Yes, 200 feet of chain. I did say that. Anyway. Uh, boat came with a dinghy which was covered in barnacles so I scrubbed and scrubbed but it is filled with tiny little barnacle holes not seaworthy let the adventures begin The first job that needed doing was to replace the boom cap and the previous owner came by to do it but we decided to finish it ourselves and a little more precisely. I have been scrubbing the dinghy all day, getting the barnacles off. I'm sweaty and tired. It's been a long day. My dad is helping me um, fix the boom. and another couple of small things like the companion way it's a little zhuzhing and I'm about ready to pull out the shop back and clean this sucker up because it is dusty day I got the boat we all came to the boat the following day and we had a major day of cleaning everybody was cleaning my mom Pierce my dad it was a family affair We finally had dinner on the boat, got to rest a little bit, then make a stop to West Marine as a boat owner. Pierce got a new shirt, and we said goodnight to our new boat in a new neighborhood. The fun sign.